Hi, I'm Dr. Anjali Marto, consultant dermatologist. My skin tends to be acne and blemish prone, and I'm going to run through my skincare routine with you today. The first step is taking off makeup. I'm a big fan of double cleansing. Um, one thing I find is at the end of the day, particularly if you wear makeup and sunscreen, it is absolutely vital to make sure that dirt, sweat, grime and pollution have been removed from the skin surface. The first step of cleansing involves using a micellar water and a cotton pad. So let's start with that. So this first step really is all about makeup removal. Before I move on to my second step, my skin is not sensitive and I find that generally people that have got oily or acne prone skin handle failing cleansers quite well. At the moment, I am using the Kate Somerville Eradicate Failing Cleanser. Face nice and wet. And I'm going to use a tiny blob this product I find doesn't dry my skin out too excessively, like a lot of acne prone products can do. And the sulfur in it is really good at tackling acne and blemishes. It's important not to rub the skin very hard as that can lead to irritation. In terms of the next steps, my skin is now clean, it's now dry. That means a perfect base has formed to continue on with the rest of my nighttime routine. Step one then, in terms of actual active skincare, is using a retinol product around the eye area. So one that I tend to use is the Murad Eye Retinol. So a small pump to be used around both eyes. And I tend to pat it in to prevent tugging or any pulling of the skin. Once that eye cream is on, the rest of my routine alternates depending on the night. Because I am acne prone, um, on alternate nights, I use a prescription product and I would use a pea-sized blob, so one pump of Epiduro Gel, which is a mixture of prescription retinoid and benzoyl peroxide. And I would apply a thin layer to the full face. So I avoid the eye area, but the rest of the face. And both retinoid and benzoyl peroxide are excellent at decongesting the skin and preventing the formation of blackheads. This product, because it is prescription, is very strong and it can cause a bit of peeling and irritation. So I tend to use it every other night. The nights that I am not using that Epiduro gel, I would tend to use an exfoliating acid product. So currently the one that I'm using is the Oskia, the liquid mask of lactic acid. Every other night, a couple of drops of this on my skin, all over, avoiding the eyes. Once a week, I will probably do a face mask and my face mask of preference is the Ordinary's salicylic acid face mask. Essentially, my skincare routine combines a number of actives which are excellent for acting prone skin. So I've got exfoliating acids like salicylic acid and lactic acid. I'm using retinol and benzoyl peroxide through a prescription product to prevent my skin becoming congested and that I'm making sure that my cleanser isn't overly or excessively drying my skin out. At the same time, I'm making sure that I'm using an anti-aging product around the eyes, so I'm using a retinol around the eyes to reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Now, I appreciate this routine has got lots and lots of strong actives in it, and it's not suitable for everybody. One thing that I know is for my own skin, I tend to be quite resilient. There is no sensitivity and I'm able to handle all of these products without any issues. If you are concerned about using all of them, what my advice would be is maybe introduce one product at a time. The more variables you throw into a skincare routine, the more likely it is you will develop irritation burning or flaking, so try not to use too many products in one go. But in a nutshell, this is currently what's working for me and it's keeping my acne flare-ups at bay.